It's okay. I got. Let's go. 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 Odumeji, the one and only, I am a war. I am not a fight. <laughs> we all know him as Prophet Odumeji. His real name is Prophet Chukwe Meka Ahano Emiri, alias Odumeji. That is what most people know him as, Odumeji. He had a very intense argument with the law enforcement in Anambra State. He was beaten, slapped, and even ridiculed, as you have seen in the video. Before I go ahead with the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. The Anambra State Government has demolished the mountain of Holy Ghost Intervention and Deliverance Ministry, owned by Prophet Chukwe Mekaonhan Nemire, alias Odumeje in Onicha. This is in line with the Onicha Urban Renewal Plan, spearheaded by Governor Charles Soludo. The structure was erected along Wagene stream and had to be removed. Footage made available to us shows the moment harmed tax force officials Mauhan dude and slap the fury prophet as they attempted to stop the demolition exercise. I don't know what Udubeja is thinking. Did they think that it would be able to fight against these uh, number of people, this number of tax officers sent to demolish his beauty. I know that, you know, as human beings, you know, you'll be quite pained, you know, after working so long and so hard on, you know, his ministry. And now the ministry is, you know, ending up in dust, you know. How is that kind of ministry? And from all the videos that I've seen online, the church is a very big one, so you can imagine having all your sweat and blood, all your hard work that you have put into a particular something just go down before you in in one day. It's not easy, but, you know, typical I am a war. It thought that you could face those tax officers, but, you know, that people, those people also, they needed to carry out the job, the order that they've been given from the governor of Anambra state and you know that whenever there's a new administration you know there's definitely there's bound to be new projects new development you know it might favor you it might not favor you but you have no option you cannot fight against the government you just have to go with the flow last last at the end of the day you can just file to be paid back you know what you spent on that building or the building's worth you can just take them to court to you know be paid back but when the government is hell-bent on doing something trust me they are going to do it there's nothing there's there's nothing that you can do as humans to stop them all you need to do is just go with the flow and then pray that they give you your the worth of that property you know in lagos state back then when i think it was fashola when fashola was wanted to start this brt lane they demolished a lot of buildings you know there were a lot of structures that were demolished and i doubt if 
there have been any payouts to those people, the owners of those houses, there is barely any payouts. Or at the at the end of the day, the government will do what they want to do. You know, even in Ekiti State, there was something of sort, like Fayoshi, where it demolished a lot of buildings, you know. What all the gov the government is is after is that they want to develop the state. They don't care if you is is going to take your your hard work or your sweat, what you've worked for for years. You know, we've seen a lot of people that, you know, when they demolish their building, they will end up having stroke. They will end up, you know, being sick because they could not take that shock. You you know, imagine having worked for such a long time on a particular project and then you are so, you know, when you see that project, you'll be so proud of yourself that, okay, I have this building. I have this investment somewhere. This investment is where I, some, some of them live in those, in those buildings. Some people, you know, rent the buildings out to other people. Well, you know that it's an investment. You know, money is coming in. Even if money is not coming in, you know that this is where I live. And I have some somewhere to rest my head. And I have a roof over my head, you know. Even some of these people are, you know, retired people, you know, who worked in their early, early years to make sure that they have something to fall back on. And imagine somebody just waking up in in one day and saying that oh i want to start a project and you know where that your house is is where i want to erect that project and your house or your building your structure is 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 not going to allow me to do that so i have to take down your structure you can imagine at the end of the day you know all lands belongs to the government you know they will say the government is only renting it out to you that bought that land only for 99 years after a period of 99 years you still have to pay another like just i don't think it's a lot of money after 99 years you just have to pay token maybe for renewal of ownership or something but even in the deeds of your house you that you bought that house you know that the government has given me this land only for 99 years you know last last the land is still owned by the government i just pray that you know Paso Dumeji, it doesn't have any branch i don't think he has any other branch apart from that main building where he worships no other branch that is just the only branch he has my heart goes out to him anyway and i pray that he's able to reach one agreement or the other with the anambra state government thank you very much for always listening and watching if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you stay subscribed if you haven't give this video a thumbs up because i know you love it most importantly click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post a new video i'll see you in my next video bye for now